Hey Aquarius, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for November 14th through the 20th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up here the week ahead. Now I am setting the intention for the seven day period of time, but you may stumble upon this video a few weeks, months, years from now. It's all good. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it, whenever it's time for you to hear the messages that are in it. That being said, it is a general reading for the collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate. And that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to see what we have coming up here for the Aquarius Collective. All right, let's get right on into it. Let's see what we have coming up for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Move you all just a little bit closer. <clears throat> First card coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Six of Wands. This is victory. This is beating out the competition. If you've put in for something, you may be receiving word back this week that you've been selected, that you've been chosen. So like if you put in for an apartment or you put in a, a, a bid for a house or something, or if you've been vying for a promotion or applying for jobs or something, you may be receiving word that, hey, guess what? We chose you. We picked you. Sense of beating out the competition here with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is also victory, overcoming challenges, overcoming obstacles. So if you've been having a hard time with a situation, you might be able to expect that this week these things are being resolved. You're overcoming the challenge. You're getting past it. You're getting over it. In terms of self-employment, this could be a card that comes up when you're getting a lot of uh, referrals, like people are speaking very positively about you. You might have people reaching out because they heard about you from friends or family. Uh, and this is also a card that can come up when some truth is being revealed about a situation. Maybe you've had somebody that's been going around lying about you in any aspect of your life. It could be work. It could be personal life. It could be an ex. Um, but there could family. There could be somebody that's just been going around and trying to make you seem like a bad person or paint you in a bad light. And sometimes Six of Wands comes up because... The truth is being revealed and people are like, oh, okay, well, you've been saying all this terrible stuff about Aquarius and Aquarius is doing this and Aquarius is doing that. But it looks like you're the one who's been doing those things, right? So there could be something where someone ends up making themselves look foolish and, uh, you know, proving uh, themselves to be a liar. And uh, there could be vindication or validation coming your way as a result. But Six of Wands is very positive, very happy, uh, very successful energy. I do feel that for some of you Aquarius, there's some kind of a physical accomplishment that you're making. So I don't know if you've been having some health challenges or something, or uh, you just have been feeling like you haven't had your strength or your energy. There could be things happening this week where... Like you're getting yourself back, you're getting yourself back on track, or you're feeling like you've overcome some kind of physical plateau or physical setback. For some reason, I feel some kind of like physical strengthening. Um, it could even be from that Rona, <laughs> uh, the virus that shall not be named. Um, I know I, I've had it a couple of times and, and both times I had it. It took a long time to just physically get back uh, to like being able to just move and not be exhausted. Like like just being able to fold laundry and not feel like I, I climbed a mountain. And so some of you, it could be something similar. Maybe you're re recovering from uh, that virus or, or recovering from something else. But I feel like there could be something where you just feel like physically something's been off or physically something hasn't been quite what it used to be. And something is happening in the coming week where you're like, oh, here it is. I'm better. I'm back to normal. Um, you know, kind of like a spring in your step kind of feeling here with this six of wands. Next card coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Hierophant. If you have Taurus placements... There could be big changes or big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. 
There could also be um, a situation here where you might be dealing with a Taurus that might be very significant in your life. Uh, Hierophant is about uh, truth, uh, commitment, ethics, morals, beliefs. For some of you, there could be healing in like a marriage or committed relationship where you're overcoming a challenge together, you're overcoming a problem together, and uh, being able to bring... Uh, uh, strength into an existing relationship, committed relationship. Uh, Hierophant can also be coming in here with the with the a string uh, with the six of wands, um, in terms of um, uh, like maybe some of you are making a faith based decision or you're taking a stand based upon your beliefs, your ethics, your morals, and it's paying off for you right? Like maybe, almost like maybe you were given an ultimatum and like somebody is saying, well, you know, this is a hard line for me. You know, I, I hear your ultimatum, you know, and typically people will give ultimatums and mean them. But in this situation, it could be that someone's like, okay, well, Aquarius is serious about this or Aquarius has a hard line about this. And so there could be something here where um, something is being bended in your favor or something is some exception is being made in your favor uh, so maybe you're taking a stand based on something you feel very strongly about and uh, despite any threats that may have been made uh, they might be saying okay well if you feel so strongly about it then we'll go ahead and we'll accept that or we'll go ahead and we'll make some kind of an accommodation. So there could be some stand you're taking based on your ethics, your beliefs, your morals um, in, in, in a situation. And uh, six of wands is like you're victorious about it. You're victorious or it, it, it's uh, uh, you're uh, I don't know if I want to say you're winning in this situation. Right. But uh, it's uh, favorable for you. The next card that's coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords can be ending out karmic cycles, karmic patterns, um, never having to repeat those karmic cycles or patterns again. Some of you may be breaking free from a karmic connection, karmic relationship. I just heard the word closure. So maybe you're getting closure around the situation. Maybe you're getting closure um, and there's victory in this way. Right, maybe you're getting closure in a situation where uh there was an ultimatum around your ethics, your beliefs, your morals, and maybe in that moment it didn't go your way, but things are happening this week where you're like, you know what, I kind of dodged a bullet there, and I thought that it didn't end up favorably for me, sticking here to my resolve, to my convictions, but you something is happening this week where you're like, no, I'm really glad. I'm really glad it happened this way. I'm really glad that whoever or whatever fell away, fell away. Like there's something much better here or, or it's uh, turned out to be a blessing for me more than I could have imagined when all this stuff was happening. Uh, ten of wands can, I'm sorry, ten of swords can also be coming into sobriety, right? Like kind of uh, uh, beating that beast of addiction. And that doesn't mean that the temptation is forever removed, but it does mean that you have a good handle on things. And it does mean that you're finding a system that works for you and that's allowing you to have continued, consistent, uh, permanent sobriety, right? I'm not saying it's going to be completely and totally effortless, but it's like you have your procedures in place and it's working for you and you're able to stick to it. You're able to find a way in a rhythm that's working for you. So there could be here a breaking out of addictions with this Ten of Swords. Uh, some of you could be helping someone or, uh, uh, you know, uh, having a partnership with someone who is now completely and totally done with their karmic cycles and uh, in, a, in a place where they're beating their addictions. And now they're ready to uh, be in this commitment with you, whether it's in business partnerships, living arrangements, living situation. Um, there could be this kind of situation here uh, for some of you with someone who is finally able to um, overcome their challenges, overcome their demons, and, uh, and be able to join you here in your endeavors, in your journey. Um, that's the feeling and the vibe I'm getting here from this card. I'm getting a sense or a feeling of like just beating out old karma and uh, coming into uh, 
you know, sobriety or breaking out of uh, habits or tendencies of self-medication. I also feel here that for some of you, there could be a situation uh, of uh, like a past situation resurfacing that you feared. You're like, oh my gosh, I hope I never hear from this person again. Or I hope I never come across this person or this situation again. But I feel it's like a sense of like fear. Like you feared this person or you feared the situation. Almost like, uh, I don't know why, but I, I don't know why. But all of a sudden, I got a visual in my head of, uh, I'm dating myself here. Some of you probably have never heard of the movie, but Raising Arizona Raising Arizona is a funny movie and there's this really extreme like biker character as like this biker out of hell and he's like real terrifying uh and he's like you know master of like you know tracking and hunting and he's this really scary character right it's it's funny it's a comedy but he's meant to be a really scary character like this uh you know biker out of hell and I don't know why I got like a visual of that character so maybe there's somebody you're fearing, like you you think, oh, this person's going to come and raise trouble or uh, cause trouble, or you felt very intimidated by this person in the past. I feel that this person may be resurfacing or you may be finding something out about this person. And I feel like this person is completely and totally um, like, like, I'm sorry to say, but like they're, they're done for. So they may have come into like really extreme physical illness. Maybe they lived a really wild life and it's caught up with them. Uh, but this is not someone who's going to be able to, uh, to do any kind of harm. So it's kind of like, maybe you've been feeling like you've had to hide out from this person or avoid this person. And you're finding out, wow, this person has, you know, no power over me anymore. Or this person has no uh, ability to do harm or to cause harm anymore. So kind of like this, uh, this fallen giant, like some, some giant in your past that you may be fearing or avoiding. And you're like, wow, like this giant has fallen. Okay. Um, some of you have been stuck in a work situation. Uh, because of a really bad situation um, on your <laughs> resume, maybe that like a job ended really badly. And, uh, you know, when people called for references, even though in a lot of states, legally, they're not allowed to say anything bad about you. But there could just be something that's just this one place, you know, and maybe you try to leave it off your application, you try to leave it off your resume, but they do the background search and they're like, oh, how come you didn't list this place? And you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sure. Call them. And so I just feel like there may be like this one thing in your working experience for some of you that's been the bane of your existence. Like it just like, you know, everything is going good until they call this one place and you feel like it's been blocking you from really good jobs or really good situations. You might find out in the coming week uh, that either this company has gone out of business or there's been some kind of buy over or, or takeover and that entire team of people has been let go or laid off. Uh, and now it's like it doesn't like they can't say anything bad about you or um, it could be like, oh, well, you know, th they're out of business, so there's nobody to call, but feel free to check. For some reason, I feel for some of you, there's something on your resume that's just been really, really a thorn in your side uh, that's being resolved, that's being removed, and you're not going to have to worry about it anymore. The next card that's coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can be a card that comes up for me in my readings when emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sometimes even physically, you've been through the ringer. You've been through a lot. And so you may be coming into a time of rest, of like much needed rest. And this is going to be a really great time to pray, to meditate, uh, to process all you've been through and to release. Um, a lot of you, I feel like, have been so busy in survival mode, in fight mode, and there may be some downtime coming in to where 
like now you can actually process your experiences instead of constantly being in the energy of pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and go, 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 go. Um, for some of you, there could be somebody who's being released from jail um, or, or prison, and there could be the mending or healing of a relationship. Or some of you may be something about the past resurfaced or you were concerned about something from the past resurfacing that you felt might get you in some kind of legal trouble and that is being resolved or that is being cleared up um or there could be a vindication or a validation in this way um in terms of uh, a legal situation or like getting something expunged um sometimes the four of swords can be a card that comes up around jail or prison uh rehab or hospitalization uh, so I feel there's a sense here of like these things uh, being worked out, these things falling into place um, and being able to just kind of process your experiences and like replenishing yourself, healing yourself, building yourself back up again, connecting with a uh, higher power, strengthening your faith here with the Hierophant and with the Four of Swords. I feel this is something very miraculous. It feels very miraculous to you. Like you're being chosen out of a sea of people and you're getting this lucky break. And it's like a, a divine intervention that that turned things in your favor or, you know, is giving you this fresh start or helping you get away from uh, something unsavory or unfavorable about the past. But I feel like it's like this exalted energy, Aquarius. I feel like there's this divine intervention that's exalting you, that's lifting you up, that's raising you out, that's putting you on higher ground. Uh, it's a beautiful energy. <laughs> I wish I was an Aquarius. I wish I had Aquarius placements looking at this. But it's like, you know, like God, universe, angels are fighting for you and, and they, they're bringing you this victory. It's a very beautiful energy. You may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. There's a link in the description that will take you to um, the playlist so you can see the other videos. There's also a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page if you would like to schedule a private reading with me. And so that link will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.